This is exercise 9. <coughs> In this example you will see that we will use several functions, geometrical functions, to draw the profile. So if you have your cat exercise at hand, we can delete this geometry and you can look at your PDF file while we draw up this shape. We delete every element and we will start to think about where will we put our reference point. We'll define this in the middle of the R28. So we will start with the radius of 28. Reset 0, 0, radius 28. And we will counterclockwise this first arc from here approximately up to here. There's our arc. We can then define the horizontal line from left to right and the value is if you look at the radius of 17.8 y mi minus 17.8 this is okay we can fill it this with 20 okay then take a look at the 17.8 radius we can define this with arc coordinates x value of 60 y 0 and the radius of 17.8 and the start angle will be here up to here the end angle we will click on OK and we can trim these elements the next line will be the tangent line between this arc and the following arc but if we look at the R40 we can see that we cannot now enter a center and a radius because the center is not known. So we might have to think about reversing our chain and see how far we get on the other side. So we move to special, reverse. So this arc is now our last element and we can draw a vertical line we know the value of this line is x minus 15 okay the radius between these last two elements is also 20 there's our radius and the r12 we do not know but we do know the center of the r10 so we can use r coordinates reset the x value is minus 50 plus 10. If you look at the drawing, the y value therefore applies the same as 71 plus 10 and our radius is 10 and we start about here up to here. Only in this case we have to alter the direction into clockwise arc. There's our example. Click on OK and between these two last elements we can define the radius of 12 OK there's our radius and now if we look at the R40 we only know the value of the radius and the highest point is Y107 so what we could do is introduce a helpline on a y value of 107 so we will draw an extra line helpline on a y value of 107 there it is and we can define a radius between this radius and this line which will result into a radius which has an y center of 107 minus 40 the x value we do not know but we do not need to know this in this case so we move to radius enter a value of 40 optimal and there's our radius if we press the control key and click on this line it will be deselected the only element we now need is the tangent line between this arc and that arc which is the last and first element so we think about clicking on the close chain button and move to tangent line which will define a line between tangent line between the last element and the first element and there's our tangent line 
we can then select this line and delete the line. This gap is just a problem on the screen, so we can redraw. There's our small part of the arc. And we can, of course, define the three holes by entering 0, 0 as for the first hole. And the R is 38 divided by 2, which gives you 19. The next small arc is 60 minus 17 with a radius of 5 divided by 2. And the last arc is 60, 0, and radius of 8. And there's our shape. If you want to dimension this drawing, you can select, for example, all the radiuses. This and this, these and these. And you can even select these through three lines and move to draw dimensions single. And you will see all the dimensionings appearing. You can use this modify button to move your dimensions to another spot. And there you have also most defined your drawing. You can also move to draw dimensions single and click on two snap points, for example this point and the lower point here, or uh, this point and the center of 12, which you can then, by using the modify modus, move. But if you look here you see a small arc as you move your dimension. If you move through this small arc, you will see that the dimension will change from a vertical into a horizontal dimension. So if you would do this again, draw dimensions single from there to there, you will have your vertical dimension again. This is also applies for the center of this arc you'll get a, an extra 81 which you do not need because you need to define it from this point to that point so you get a second 71 and you can also change this into a horizontal dimension and so you can continue on dimensioning your drawing so we can now move on to the next exercise